What's up friends? It's your girl Sarah from Sarah Styles here. Today's video we are going to be looking at how to decide what to purchase to resell on Poshmark and eBay. In today's video I'm going to be looking at Y2K trends because I sell women's clothing, shoes, and purses and I'm noticing Y2K and 90s but Y2K is definitely back in full force and I want to be really strategic in what I'm purchasing when I am outsourcing to sell items for profit on Poshmark and eBay. If you don't sell clothing, shoes, and purses, this video is still going to be very informational for you because I'm walking you through the step-by-step -step tutorial to look at how to decide what to sell. So your searches may be a little bit different, but the process is going to be the exact same. Two things that I always recommend when you're kind of doing this and you're looking at data and trying to figure out things, whether it's sourcing, what to source, what platforms to sell on, or where to source, all of this is to look at first, look at your data and then look at the market. So first, look at your data. Like I said, I'm looking at women's clothing, shoes, and purses, Y2K trends, and I will link a video up here where I looked at a month of data. I looked at all my Y2K sales and kind of figured out what was selling from what I had access to, the knowledge that I already had, things that I was already doing, because that is going to be the most customizable data. And then we're gonna look at eBay. eBay has Terapeak data where you can I've heard that it's free now. They said that it's free now. I have an eBay store, so I will show you how to access it from an eBay store. You should be able to just Google eBay Terapeak data, and if you don't have a store, this should come up. But this is looking at the eBay database to tell you exactly what's selling on eBay. I will link a video up here of really going in depth on how to use Terapeak, but I am gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how I'm researching on eBay using Terapeak to figure out Y2K trends, Y2K items that I'm going to be purchasing on Posh, that I'm going to be purchasing when I am sourcing to resell on Poshmark and eBay. So if you go ahead and go into, this is my eBay store, I'm gonna come up here, and so I'm on my seller hub up here on the right, you can't see if I point with my finger, I'm um, up here on the left is my seller hub, hub and then come down to research. So there's lots of really good information here. Go through my eBay tutorial playlist because I go in depth into a little of the into these a little bit more. This Terapeak sourcing insight is phenomenal because it's really going to show you top categories that you can be looking at right now and then you can dig deep into it. But I do have an eBay tutorial on that. I will link it up above. But right now we're looking at Terapeak product research. I am thinking, I'm noticing Y2K is selling. Oh, let's do this. I'm noticing Y2K is selling. So I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna start with Y2K. Like I said, you can do this for anything. You can say, hey, I'm noticing golf clubs are really selling. So let me type in golf clubs and then start to drill down on what that actually means. So I'm gonna start with Y2K. And if you guys know anything about computer search engines, it's going to give you kind of the top search. Um, so Y2K tops. I like selling jeans and pants. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to go into my full research. I spent probably an hour yesterday digging into different categories to really get an idea when I'm outsourcing what I want to be purchasing but I like selling jeans and it's coming into summer so they probably won't sell as well but what I'm buying now and in the next couple months will actually be start sourcing it will start being listed in the fall so right now all I'm doing is I typed in Y2K so this means that Y2K is going to be in the title it was sold in the last 30 days. So you have sold and then you have active. I'm gonna look at sold because what I really care about is what they're selling at. I don't particularly care about what they're listed at. I mean, you can list something at $500, but is it selling at $500? So I looked, like to look at sold. You can go in and take a look at active. But what this is telling us is my average sold price. So in the past 30 days, jeans that have a title with Y2K are selling on average for $28.13. The price range is 99 cents to 3.39 average shipping. So if you're new to eBay, this is really helpful because it's telling you on average how much does it cost to ship jeans. Most jeans fit in a flat rate. Do I have one here? Yes, into a flat rate 
a flat rate envelope and on eBay this costs about eight dollars and fifty cents ish uh, so that's what I like to charge for jeans which tells me my shipping cost is a little bit lower but I'm on market for what I am shipping them 11% is free shipping a lot of times people will ask me hey should you do free shipping this is a great way to tell if you should do free shipping 11% of people selling jeans are doing free shipping my competition isn't really doing shipping free shipping so I don't feel the need to if you are selling something and this is 90% of your competition, things that are selling are free shipping, you should probably bake that into your business model because your competition is doing it. 441 sold, that doesn't tell me a whole lot. What's gonna tell me a lot more is my sell-through rate. So this means of the Y2K jeans that are currently listed on eBay in the past 30 days, 6% of them, 6 of them have sold. That's kind of a low sell-through rate, honestly, for jeans. Um, 5% to 10% for women's clothing, shoes, and purses. So I'm gonna drill a little bit deeper and see if I can't get that sell-through rate. You know, we're looking at a very broad category right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, we're gonna drill a little bit deeper into this category to really decide why 2K jeans is very broad. What from this is actually really selling? There's 330 total seller, sellers and then the total sales is that much. You can see here as well, this is kind of a really nice graph as well because this is gonna show you seasonality, right? Uh, oh no, this is for the month, it's not for the year. Uh, you can see definitely at the beginning, you know, it's it's pretty stagnant across the board. Up here, you had a couple higher price sales. If this was an annual, so if we were looking, I'm not gonna change it just for the sake of the video and it's slow processing time, but if I were to change this to one year, you could see the seasonality in jeans and my guess would be jeans, you're gonna get a little bit of a dip into the summer. That's something to be mindful of when you're sourcing, when you're selling. If you're going into summer and you're listing a bunch of stuff for summer, you're gonna see a dip in jean sales. It doesn't mean that they're not selling well and that they're not going to sell well. It just means that it's summer and people don't want it. If you have something and there's no seasonality in it, I've started recently selling bras and that for the most part is not going to have a lot of seasonality. You wear bras all year round. So if you're seeing a dip, it's not because of seasonality, it's because of something else. And then you can scroll down here and you can see actual jean, Y2K jeans that have sold. Like I said, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into this because um, that's very broad. I wanna know what specifically trends and styles, I should brands that I should be looking for. You can scroll down here and if you click on any of these that have an arrow, it will sort it for you. I'm going to sort based off of average sold price. I want to see what Y2K jeans are selling for top dollar. So if I go ahead and click that, the processing when I'm filming is a little bit slower, so do be careful. Uh, so look at this, Fast and Furious. Y'all, if you're around my age, this could be kind of a nostalgic or I find it to be kind of easy to buy Y2K because I was, you know, in my teens and into my early 20s, I was buying these things, I was wearing these things, I was wanting to buy these things. Um, so Fast and the Furious was definitely a big one up there. Dead Stock Vintage is definitely up there. But look at, you can go through these and look at what we're looking at. Flare, low rise jeans. Down here, you're seeing high rise jeans. Um, that's, you know, these are selling a little bit higher because they are a um, luxury brand, right? That makes sense. But look at this Calvin Klein vintage jeans. I'm going to open this in a new tab because then we'll look at each individual item as well. Dolce Gabbana, that makes sense. Those are, you know, a designer. Are you guys noticing something here? Calvin Klein Y2K denim jeans denim jeans overalls. They're also called bibs, uh, Calvin Klein overalls, carpenter, baggy. Um, this also gives you a lot of ideas of what to use in your keywords, what keywords are selling. So when you have this item, you can also figure out what keywords are selling. Vintage to religion is up there. Flair. So we're noticing flair is definitely coming back. Low rise overalls, Calvin Klein, right? Remember, um, what was his name? The Calvin Klein model, Mark Wahlberg, right? Like Calvin Klein is coming back. Uh, vintage True Religion, Dolce Gabbana. We're seeing again Rockies, Bareback, uh, Cowgirl, Mom Jeans, Gap, Friends. 
vintage gap now these are leather but gap selling for 75 dollars normally i would not pick up gap i was looking at this yesterday and i was like all right gap i see you like vintage gap is definitely selling that's leather which makes sense why it's selling a little bit higher rock revival that makes sense that it's up there calvin klein calvin friends calvin klein we're gonna look at one in a minute but calvin klein Overalls are definitely where it's at. Look at this vintage Tommy Hilfiger overalls. Spell out dark denim, bib, carpenter. So carpenter, tell me you didn't own a pair of these if you're around my age, but carpenter, you know, you kind of put your, uh, they're made for carpenters and there's like a little thing, we'll look at them. There's like a little thing in the back where you can put your hammer. Um, I don't know why this was trendy, but let's go ahead and look and see. We'll scroll down here. Um, you can see, you can see right there. Let me show you the back. Let's get to a back picture. Tell me if you're around my age that you had these. Let me know down below. You either had these or you knew someone that had these. I absolutely, my best friend in middle school into high school had a pair of these and we didn't have a lot of money growing up, so for sure I could never afford these. Uh, I never found them at the thrift store when I was thrifting, but I definitely wanted a pair of these. And you can see, so that's the Carpenter. It says Tommy Hilfiger Vintage Y2K Carpenter. Let's take a look at the Calvin Klein one. So overalls, if you're looking at 90s overalls, look at that Calvin Klein logo right there. Uh, these are probably Carpenter as well. So, oh, these are, are these shorts? Oh no, it's just showing the wear on the bottom. Calvin Klein size small. So those are definitely things to be looking at. I pulled up a couple yesterday as well. So this is slightly changed from yesterday, but I thought these ones were interesting as well. That's not it. Um, this one was, <laughs> oh, here we go. It didn't, oh, cause I was digging deeper. Okay, so now let's go a little bit deeper into We've seen Y2K. I have typed in here Abercrombie & Fitch because I know that's a big Y2K brand. I've been seeing on social media, hey, that's selling really well. I wanted to see what specifically from Abercrombie & Fitch is selling. So now I'm just typing in Y2K Abercrombie & Fitch here. You can see here my sell through rate skyrocketed up to 13%. So it over doubled. Uh, average sale price went down just a little bit, but a higher sell through rate uh, for a mall brand we're looking at. So let's look at, I've also sort of sorted this based off of average sold price. Why do you create Abercrombie & Fitch men's distress camo cargo pants? Y'all, cargo pants are back. When I first met my husband, we're talking like end of Y2K. So I was like, dude, you got to get rid of all of those. Now I'm kicking myself. <laughs> he should have kept them and I could have sold them for top money. But look at this $90 for these cargo Y2K baggier type jeans. I've actually sold a couple pairs of Abercrombie & Fitch shorts, cargo shorts, like this as well. Men's, you're looking here, wide leg cargo pants, cargo pants, cargo pants. Friends, if you see Abercrombie & Fitch Y2K 90s cargos pants, $90, $74, $67, $62, that's ridiculous prices for Abercrombie and Fitch for real. Uh, so those are a couple of things that we're looking at. And then I want to dig a little bit deeper into that's how you can look into a brand. I also wanted to look into what t kind of styles is boot cut selling better than flared. So we're going to type in Y2K jeans flare and just compare the two. So this is an average sale price of $29, sell through rate of 77%. And then if you type in boot cut, 7% average sale price of $26. So I think those are the two main things that you're looking for is boot cut. Let's do low rise. Think Christina Aguilera, right, friends? Christina Aguilera with the super low rise and the super flare. And uh, now we're up at, oh, that's interesting. We're at a 23. That went down average sale price, 6% uh, sell through rate. So you can definitely go in here and mess around, type in different keywords. Like I said, you don't have to sell women's clothing, shoes, and purses. This strategy is going to work regardless of what you sell. I'm just showing you how I use it for what I sell. If you like this video, YouTube also thinks you'd like this video. I will link a playlist video here of how to make money reselling. And then make sure to hit that subscribe button.